Hello everyone, this is Sunday Place VR, and welcome back to Let's Play Slender the Arrival. Now, last time that I've played this, we were in the middle of a prologue, and I did eight pages. So, as you get more into the like to this video, you'll understand why. Like, you'll understand the Easter eggs and um, the people in it and what. Like what's going on? So if you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe. Most importantly is please subscribe to me. It is my dream to actually become a really great YouTuber. So let's make this dream come true. And if you want to, you can follow me on Discord, via chat, whichever, it don't even matter. And um, be sure to check out my previous video that I did as well. So let's get right into this. Alrighty, so I already escaped Cinnamon. And now I am in a really nice forest. But yeah, I enjoy playing this game. Like, I can't even stop watching Markiplier's um, video as well. I can't even stop watching it. Now, if there's any details that I might have missed, y'all can comment down below and just tell me what I missed. But I'm just taking my time here. I mentioned it to my doctor again when I saw him today. He really wants you to come in sometime just to talk with him. I think it's a good idea. He also said that confronting this traumatic event in some way could be very beneficial, too. Don't worry, I didn't tell him any specifics about what happened. I do think we should go back out to the park behind your mom's house sometime soon. I think being out there and seeing nothing will help get rid of those stupid problems we've been having. CR. So, I think what's going on is that... Kate and CR did something stupid, and they dragged Lauren into this. Because both CR and Kate are both missing, and Lauren is the only one that is out searching for her friends. Like, where's the police in this? <laughs> Now they should have updated the trees to look more realistic. Like the like these trees are. And uh, what can you do? Attention all employees. After the closing this Sunday, your paychecks will be mailed to your home address that we have on file for you. Please see Jessica in the office if you have changed your address recently. Otherwise, you will not be able to receive your final paycheck. We would like to thank all of you for your many years of dedicated services to common mining and wish you the best of luck in all of your future endeavors. Management. I tried to find my way back to you when I tripped and fell down that slope, but my flashlight hit one of the rocks down there and broke. It was pitch black. I heard sounds all around me, screaming. It sounded like you. I tried to follow it back, but I was lost. I fell. Everything collapsed down around me. I could feel it crushing me. Everything was moving so fast. I was drawn in the water. I couldn't see. Every fear I've ever had came back to me at once. Monsters around me. My stomach inverted. My eyes shriveled out of existence. My heart caved in. I don't know what happened after that. I woke up in some tall grass today and found my way back home. Well, my way back to the house. I looked through the window and saw you sitting on the couch stand on your TV. I couldn't get your attention so I left. I can't run anymore. I can't think straight. I need to. Need to what, buddy? What do you need to do? Is there any pages I might be missing? Smokey! Of course, it's that time. 
Oh man. Hopefully I can get this done. But yeah, I still live with my family, so if you hear my mom on some occasions, then yeah, she wants me to feed the cats. Coleman Mining. In the event of sudden power loss, all employees will be removed from the mines via emergency lifts as soon as possible. To the to power the lifts, please activate the emergency generators throughout the ground level of the complex. Six generators are the minimum required to power the lifts at full capacity. Please see your supervisor if you need help locating them. So apparently something happened. I am okay, Kate. The woods are beautiful. Please come see. I want to find you so you can see. It is so beautiful, Kate. Yeah, they did something to trigger Slenderman, which you should never do. Local park sells Slend to Coleman Mining Co. Oakside Park has came to an agreement with Coleman Mining Company regarding this. Acquisition of mineral rights for one of the state owned parks mountains. Resident, President of Coleman Mining James Walter said he's glad to the deal has gone through and that he couldn't be happier for the opportunities this new location will provide the company in the community. Oxford Park first entered ne negotiation with Coleman Mining will see years prior to the acquisition of Ocean View Associates. Yeah. <laughs> Um, that seems to be it. And for this one, you have to use a right click on the mouse just to scare the uh, other person. Now that could be, let's see here. I think that is CR who is working for Cinnamon. But yeah, you just walk around to find the, uh... Um, generators. I was trying to think. Aha, here's one. Now, I will not be scared. Ah, there's another one down below. Ooh, here he comes. Yeah. Um, the guy that is chasing me right now, that could be CR. Which is Kate and Lauren's friend. But that's just a guess. Yeah, like, that is just a guess. Look, there's another generator. Okay, that will be... Okay, two more. Ah, no, no! Dude! Okay, yep, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Okay. Seems like there's one right down below. Oh, hi, Cinnamon! Bye bye! Okay, there's one down. Okay, one more to go. I need one more to go. Stay back, stay back, stay back. You stay back, you stay back, you hear me, you stay back. You hear me, stay back. Uh. 
Yeah, I'm not waiting any longer. Yeah, I just need one more. I just need one more. Ah! Can you all just leave me alone, please? So I'm gonna see if it's around down here somewhere. I'm hoping so. So maybe in one of the rooms? Yes! Okay, I got all of them, I got all of them. You stay! You stay far away from me! You stay away from me! You hear me? You stay away from me! Okay, there we go. Ah! Okay, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. Okay, go, 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 I'm not waiting any longer. I need to go, like, right now. Right now, right now, right now, right now. Get on, get on, get on, get on, get on! <laughs> yes! <laughs> now there is a glitch in here that, yep, you can just fall right through that ledge. Alrighty. See, that wasn't so hard. Here, number eight. I've tried to call you dozens of times. Where are you? Please call me back and let me know you're okay. If I don't hear back in an hour, I'm coming over there. So that's CR wondering where Kate is at. But yeah, this is this is a wonderful view. Now, if they did a part two of this, then I would definitely play it. I would be so happy if someone made a Sun of the Arrival world on their chat. But if it were me, I would create my own avatars in my own world. Okay, leaving this phone in case you wake up tonight. I'm going to assume you don't remember what happened. I came over to check on you and found you out in the park behind the house. You had a broken video camera with you and a bag full of weird drawings. I don't know what happened out there, but you're safe now. The doctors will help you. So apparently Kate and CR did something to provoke the cinnamon. They might have said something, did a ritual or something. And of course, I'm sure Lauren didn't have a part in it. But now she does because of course she's looking for her friends. So this is a part that we will come up to. And it will show you what happened to Charlie. And why Charles Smithson was so devastated. And why his wife left him. Yeah, like, is he a very tragic story? Yeah, like, when I first seen Mark Player play this, like, this was never here. So that's his mom and dad up there. So this will show you what happened to Charlie. Like that little boy from the first video. 
in that old house. So that old house belonged to his father, his deceased father. So this was before this all happened. And as you can see, he like sent him in and is luring him in. But the water is phenomenal. Of course, I don't have a flashlight. <laughs> but yeah, this is a flashback of what happened to um, Charlie. Yeah, like, let's just say that Cinnamon does anything to lure little children in. Now, there's this one video that I have seen where, of what Markiplier played, and it was, um, like, SCP, like, Slender. Like, it was the, like, SCP containment brief, but it was, like, Cinnamon. Now, if that game still exists, I would definitely play it for you guys. Like, definitely. And now his mom and dad is looking for Charlie. Okay, this is very devastating to watch, but... So, this didn't even happen whenever Markiplier was playing this, but I'm hoping that Markiplier would watch this and be like, Oh, hey, this is different. Okay, yep. Happened to Charlie. I'm so sorry, Charlie. Well, I just come over that. And then there's another clip of like his farm and all that. Like the one photo that was in the first part of the video at the very beginning. That was the farm. That Charlie would go with his mom and dad for like picnics and all that stuff. But now I'm just following the trail. <laughs> why I needed that, but okay. <laughs> now, if they make a world of, like, based on the of the arrival, I would definitely visit the, like, visit that world. And my home world would actually be, like, the uh, Slender Forest with a huge mansion. Because I've always thought that Slenderman had a mansion. Why do you want to die, dude? Outside, I need to die before it catches me. I'm sorry for any part of that is my fault. Everything is taken out of the back of my head. Hands have teeth. Please tell no one I love them. It's back now. Hide. 
Okay then. See, there is there's two tapes here. Kate, I've been doing some digging and came across an old plot of land that belonged to the Matheson family a ways back. Charles was known to take his wife Diane and his son Charlie to the old homestead, homestead for family picnics. I never imagined what I would see there. I think Charlie may have seen something, something he was never meant to see. In closes a recording of my findings and some documents I came across. We're dealing with something dark here, Kate. Something I can't explain. CR. The date is September 19th. My name is CR. I'm on the side of the Matheson family farm. Continuing my investigation in Charlie's disappearance. Let's see what we can turn up. So this would basically, like this is the uh, Mathis and Farm where Charlie grew up. Rose, we're going into the cellar tonight for another game of hide and seek. Father will return from his errand to the Red Deer until the morning. And Norm says he found a lantern so he can take us there after dark if we all meet by the chapel after tonight's dinner. I know you hate the rancid smell of petrol down there. But it'll be fun, I promise, Maggie. P.S. Don't tell Patty. She'll tell on us. Now I wonder I wonder who Patty is in Rose. They must be the former the former ones that used to live here. But yeah, this is the um old farmhouse. That Charles and will take his wife and son to. And this will definitely explain what happened. So let's just say that um, Charlie got possessed by Slenderman. where all the hay and corn is stored. Yeah, I'm not going in there. So now we're going over to the cellar. Which is a little creepy in my case. <laughs> yeah, this part's a little creepy. But it shows that cinnamon will always be there. And he will follow you until you kick the bucket. Now, a lot of people say that cinnamon is real or cinnamon is fake. But no, like it's anyone's opinion, but in my opinion, like it's nice that they created games for cinnamon. But there's this one year where these teens. I really believed in Slenderman, and I don't know if it was him that actually told him this or something, but I'm sure most of y'all heard of it, that these teens actually stabbed a girl 18 times, and she luckily survived. And they claim that Slenderman told him to do it.
Now there was one glitch that I came across on whenever I played this before, that there will be Charlie just standing around here. But now after you visit the cellar you have to run and not get caught by Charlie. Okay, here we go. Just follow the path. And you'll be fine. Just ignore the first steps. Just don't look back. Don't pay attention. Just run. And I won't stop running until I've reached over here. Okay, this will be the second part of the video, until I do a third part. But yeah, if this gets enough likes, I will do the hardcore one day. Reminder, all wheat and barley should be stored in the subterranean cellar for cold storage. We can be stored up to 9 months pending moisture. Dry green should be taken to the cellar immediately from winter storage. Cooling the green ensures insects remain dormant and minimizes mold growth. But yeah, let's just say that Charlie saw something that he was never meant to see. And that is true for a little boy like him. Yeah, that's the one with the red cape is Charlie, the tall one is his father, and that's his mother sitting on the blanket. So yeah, they have like picnics together. Yeah, I don't remember what that place was. I think that used to be another house or something. And I think that's a tree house that they used to, um, that he used to hang out in and whatnot. And of course, in this farm, there is a church. So, right over there is a chapel, and that's where we need to go to. Without getting caught by him. And of course, Kate, CR, Charlie, and Lauren aren't the only ones who have experienced this. There's a whole line of amazing Matheson family. I think they all have suffered a very gruesome fate as well. Uh, there's the saying to this, curiosity kills the cat. Like, you can't be curious too much. But yeah, there's a lot to collect, there's a lot to read, there's a lot to experience in this game. And that's why I love to play this game. Okay, here we go. Go! Just don't pay attention to Charlie. Don't run into him. Okay, don't pay attention to him. Just keep running along the path. And we are here. This is all of the graves. Margaret.
Infinity and Matheson. May you be blessed for eternity. So something bad happened to Frida. I think she experienced the same thing that Charlie, CR, Kate, and Lauren is going through. I seek only salvation for myself and my family from that demon sent to torment my life. I brought the devil's wrath upon my family. I did this. I went searching for this demon. I brought him into our lives. I invoked his arrival. How could I have been so blind as to manifest such evil? Why can I not let old legends die? I only should bear this burden. I alone should bear this burden. Why must my grandchildren suffer for my imprudence? They will never come home. That arch friend that has them now. Or that arch fiend has them now. We all must bear this burden. We all must repent for our ignorance and rid this world of this demon for good. Never, none ever shall confront this evil again, ever again. It dies with us. May the fire cleanse our souls and burn our sins. Frida Matheson. So she's the one that brought sentiment into this. May the angels guide you home. Okay, you're supposed to collect these and run up here. Hi, Charlie. And go! Yeah, um... <coughs> yeah, th th that's what you need to do. <laughs> Oh, yep, I'm going upstairs. Oh, yeah. Um. Dearest Diary, Patricia still has yet to come home. Mother insists she ran off to search for wildflowers again, but I know that's not true. It was that man, that thing Grandmother keeps ranting on about. I do not think she's mad. I have seen that man myself. He watches us play. She watches us as we play. Patty went to him. I just know it. I only know Mother would listen. If only Mother would listen. I wonder when she'll come home. Who knows? So, this was long before... But it's more of less. The, but it's more or less the same as it's always been. Maybe tomorrow, Maggie, June second, nineteen oh five. Father's making us pray again tonight. It'll do no good. It's bothersome, if anything. And I'd bet anything, Patty and Walt ran away from this miserable old place. And I don't blame them one bit. Grandmother and Rose insist on some some ratty tale that a strange man took them away. Am I the only one keeping their wits around here? Maybe I should run away too. Maggie, June 9th, 1905. Okay then. Dearest Frida, though my heart still pains for your missing children, I fear for your health, my sweet sister. You mustn't worry your mind with all those twisted tales of our youth. You know as well as Aye, they were merely tales to keep us all in good behavior. If only Mother knew what those silly legends would do to you. Though I have no recollection of the one you mentioned. Was it from one of Mother's books you took with you? I wish I was there with you now. 
in her time of need, rather than whittling, waiting my days away alone. I wish you well, an ocean away. May my thoughts and prayers reach you. Franziska. Okay, so they, so, so they, they discovered something before Charlie did, it looks like. Okay. This is where I'll be stopping. If you want to see more, please like and subscribe the video. And if you want to join me on many other adventures that I normally do, then go ahead and request and like friend request me on Discord. Be sure to follow me on Discord, of course. And as always, I hope you all enjoy. And please like and subscribe. Be sure to share the video. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.